think for Gavin, I think he would choose, or he would say it was uh, Jeff Picardo. And I think it could be Simon Phillips. Now I'm struggling a bit. Um, I think Tony Thompson had a bigger influence on uh, Gavin than people could imagine. And also, let's think, what was his name? He was in level 42, and it's not Gary Husband, but Gary would have to be on the list. He's inspiration to any drummer. But who was the heavy-handed guy that played... Uh, Phil Gould? Yeah, so Phil Gould, I think, would be another... Uh, there you go. Okay. That's five. Yeah. Right? All excellent drummers. For Pat, I, I know you're a Ginger Baker fanatic. Yeah. And I would think... Uh, Let's see, well, John Bonham, no, yeah, yeah, Keith Moon, yeah. Pat likes the more chaotic I kind think of the British guys, they were drummers, some... well, Bill Bruford, right? Yeah, Bill Bruford. What about Jamie Muir? Sorry. Jamie. Jamie Muir, yeah, of course. Well, I mean, Pat's but you missed doing the, a lot. You missed the two biggest ones. The two biggest ones. Um, uh, let me think then. In the land. Oh. <laughs> Ringo, <laughs> yeah, that's a Ringo fan. And Charlie Watts? Not Charlie so much. I, I like him, but uh, Michael Giles. He hit me at the perfect time. Right. And that was my connection. Uh, yeah, right. At the same time as Bonham came along, with Giles was like, "Wow, this is way cooler." This is like Mr. and Mrs., isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>